strong emotions and sharp words at the state house today. All of it over a possible hate crimes bill. The controversial bill has been debated year after year only to fail. But this year, even the governor is for it. Uh, testimony lasted three hours this morning. State House Bureau Chief David Williams shares some of the passionate moments. More than 30 people braved the cameras and lawmakers to testify either in favor of or against this hate crime bill. They showed raw emotion. Go back to Mexico. You don't belong here. Speak English. I've gotten people in my face telling me these things on my own job. I have been threatened. I have been followed. I have been persecuted. I've been a victim of assault where a, where a gun has been pulled on me, yet I was able to get away. I have also been a victim of physical and sexual abuse. The bill would allow a judge to slap extra penalties on a person who commits a crime against someone based on a trait like sexual orientation, race, religion, or gender identity. And we have very grave concerns about religious liberty should this bill be passed in its current form. This bill punishes thoughts, not just actions. Who is in the all-knowing position of God to judge what was in someone's mind when they committed a crime. Opponents argue Indiana's current laws already protect you, and a bill like this would create a class of specially protected people, as well as limit free speech. What's happening is as soon as we create special classes in, in, among Hoosiers, uh, we immediately weaponize the state to punish everybody who wants to speak out against what they happen to disagree with. Last year's Senate hate crime bill fell apart because lawmakers couldn't agree on language. Say Senator Ron Alting believes this year is different. Every single person is in there. The message is that if you commit a physical act basically on the theory of hate or biased crime, that the enhancer in it, excuse me, the aggravator language in it, the judge has the right to uh, enhance the sentencing part. That's what supporters have wanted for years. It is time for Indiana to move forward. Governor Holcomb already supports a hate crime law. It's part of his 2019 agenda. The bill passed committee this morning and now heads to the Senate floor for a vote. Alting tells me he has a challenge ahead of him. In the State House, I'm David Williams, Fish TV, News 8.